Today I'm going to show you why you shouldn't be surprised that Tommy Tuberville has some racist views. A lot of coaches do. Welcome to Google is Free, a show that will remind you that a free Google search will provide you with all the receipts that you'll ever need. The former Auburn head football coach and current GOP senator recently made some racist comments. They want reparation because they think the people that do the crime are owed that. Bullshit! The they that Tuberville is talking about is black people. Besides, we're the only ones that still haven't received any reparations for building this entire country for free. The coach that spent the majority of his career coaching in the South at places like Arkansas State, Miami, Texas A&M, Ole Miss, Auburn, and Texas Tech made over $2 million in his last season at Cincinnati. But never forget that Ohio's a red state like most of the South. Google will remind you that Tuberville has some former coaching buddies that operate in similar fashion. Search results were revealed that in 2017, Dabo Swinney's assistant coach at Clemson, Danny Pierman, had to apologize for using the N-word. There were allegations that Sweeney said it as well. In 2020, Iowa head coach Kirk Ferentz had to let go one of his assistants that had been on his staff for over 20 years. Coach Doyle has been placed on administrative leave immediately while an independent review can take place. And after he was finally run out of town, since there had been racist allegations against him, Urban Meyer showed up and tried to hire him for a few days in Jacksonville before it all went to shit. Oh, and by the way, this happens in basketball too. Now I want you to Google the name of Pat Chambers, because in 2020, you learned that the former Penn State head coach told a black player that, I want to loosen the noose that's around your neck. And just last year, Creighton head coach Greg McDermott was impersonating a slave master like he was an extra in Django when he told his team, guys, we've got to stick together. We need both feet in. I need everybody to stay on the plantation. I can't have anybody leave the plantation. So kids and parents, the next time a coach comes into your living room trying to recruit you, remember this video and truly understand what they really think of you. But even still, you might sign with a coach like Dan Muller, who used to make players kiss his ugly ass wife before games when he was at Florida. My name is Karin Phillips. Thanks for watching. And always remember that Google is your friend and is free and stick with Desmond. Thanks for watching the Desmond YouTube channel. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of our videos, click over here somewhere.